My name is Max Montrose, and I'm gonna teach you how to clone sacred cacti. Got a bunch of uh, San Pedro, Peruvianus, Vergesi, and we even have some titty cactus and some penis cactus we would like to root. So uh, if you wanna learn how to clone some cactus, pay attention. Cloning cactus is super easy, and typically if you do it right, every time you cut one cactus, you can make at least two, and sometimes more. Um, one question is, why would you clone a cactus in the first place? Um, and one reason, obviously, is just to multiply them. Uh, another reason, or a better reason, is they need it. So, look at this cactus, for example. So, you see this Trichoceros pachanoi right here? This is a San Pedro. Um, I put this cactus outside, and outside it started growing and just much better. This will uh, become top heavy and eventually the cactus will break off naturally um, and if it were in nature this would just create its own roots um, and then the top would regrow more cactus. But this is not an ideal situation. We want to get this piece off here um, but what we want to do is we want to retain the root mass here and so like this piece if you retain the root mass by cutting it you'll regrow another cactus in this place. And then with this piece, when we pull the roots out of it, we'll have a secondary cactus. Um, you can do a variety of different things with your middle piece. Uh, in terms of cloning cactus, what you can do is you can actually uh, take the middle piece and root it as well as the top piece, making a third piece, or you can set it on its side horizontally uh, kind of like this piece here and have cactus pieces shoot out the side because cactus definitely do that. So what you want to do is you want to dry out the bottom piece right there before you put it in dirt. And the reason why is because um, this is an open flesh wound, right? So you don't want to get your cactus sick uh, with an infection, so you dry it out. I love you, but you're in the way. <laughs> Okay, this other piece, um, you don't want to cut too low to the ground. You don't want to cut in here. So you see this piece, you really want to leave enough of the plant material. So in order to keep the root mass piece, like this one, to grow another large piece out, you want to cut it um, so it's got enough, enough fleshy material up top. So just like that. So all of these Trichoceros, Bregesii, Pachanoi, Peruvianus, Mertilio geometris monstros, Bregesii monstros, um, these are all calloused, right? So these have all dried out. Um, and I, you know, it's okay to leave them sitting down while they dry out, but really you don't want them laying down for, for long, because if you do, um, the front will just start stretching up like my your thumb turning up or um, it will start rooting out the bottom and you'll have new shoots coming out of the areolas uh, the spines and so you see that fresh growth coming out of the top you really want to make sure that these guys are standing upright when you root them and if you're like me and have way too much cactus saving space is important okay Get a good sized pot if you have a bunch that you're gonna put in together. Get a nice soil complex. Make sure that it is soft and fluffy and really sandy. Now the roots aren't gonna touch the soil for quite a while, so this stuff can be dry. And then to help the cactus root throughout the winter, I moisten the soil that the cactus is gonna sit in. And so you want your little starts to sit in barely moist soil, which will encourage rooting. And then naturally over the winter, the soil is going to dehydrate. And so I'm gonna tickle the roots out by just pouring little bits of water in between the cactus, literally just dribbles and drops, just to re-moisten the soil around the root mass, not really wetting it much, if that makes sense. And so again, to save space, most definitely feel free to put these guys in uh, pretty close together. We'll put more soil around the bottoms. As you're placing your cacti in here, um, 
you know, go ahead and pour some soil around so that they don't really move around and they get some stability. You don't want them too packed together. And it's always a good idea to do the larger ones in the center so that uh, when you put them out next year, uh, you can rotate it and get a lot of photosynthesis around and really not shade or crowd any out because it really will prohibit their growth next year. Here's some great examples of cacti growing out uh, the top when they're horizontal. Um, and you can see the roots coming out here and here and here and here. So these roots are already pretty thick. So what we'll do is we'll cut the cactus here where it's got root mass and we'll bury this piece with just this piece coming out and that will grow really fast. And voila, all of the Trichocerus pachinoi, San Pedro heads that were calloused have been evenly planted in a single pot and this will be for rooting. So you will not water this because they don't have roots. <laughs> you want to tickle little drops of water in here to tickle root mass out. And then the cool thing is it's a cactus. It's it's a it's a male energy. It's strong. Mess, you don't be afraid to mess with it. So uh, in the spring, physically take your cactus out, look at the bottom and look at the root mass and uh, see how big it is. Uh, the bigger your root mass is, the more you can water it. And then the bigger your root mass is, the more you can water it. And then when your root masses get really big, you know, I give these guys a gallon of water almost once a week or more. Um, remember the Trico Sirius uh, columnar cacti types come from the jungle. So uh, they're not desert plants. They can drink a ton of water, but they can only drink a ton of water when they have a large root mass to drink it with and when they're currently growing. So if they're in a state of hibernation or don't really have a root mass, uh, don't give them a lot of water. Last tip about cloning cacti. To save space, um, Instead of having a pot like this, right? Um, the way that I did all of the heads actually remove the root mass after this top calluses, take the root mass in the bottom of this cactus material and actually replant it all together. So these are all Trichocerius progesses and these are the root mass clones. <laughs> What's crazy is it doesn't look like much but these plants, they have such a large root mass already established that each one of these could grow a foot or more of cactus material a piece next year. Uh, well, you know, their while their heads are growing a root mass in in a different location, and that is how you that is that is how you clone some cacti. Uh, I'm Max Montrose, and I hope you learned something new.